In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at 10 very interesting apps that you should definitely check out. Let's get started. So just like I do on all my other previous Apple Watch videos, these applications are new, they're not repeats, and everything will be linked in the video description down below. Price will also be displayed on the screen. Now with that introduction out of the way, let's get started. So let's start off this video with something exciting, something that all can enjoy. Arcadia Arcade is what this app is called and it's just a bunch of awesome arcade games in one. You get a total up to 10 awesome unique games. It's one of the few gaming apps that actually does take advantage of that larger display if you're on a series 5 or 4. It plays arcade music. And down here on the very bottom you see we have classics like Alien Invaders, Pog, and so on. And I've used this app in situations where I literally had nothing to do and why not just pass the time by playing some of these games on your wrist. And after playing a couple of games, a few rounds here and there, everything runs really smooth. There's no issues here whatsoever. This game was really well developed. Now this next app is called Flip Type. And what I like about this one, this one actually, this app will actually give you a virtual keyboard right here on your display. And if you're running the latest Apple Watch, like the Series 4 or the Series 5, you have plenty of real estate space. And what's this app, what this allows you to do is reply to messages, but with a full keyboard. And once you're done with your reply, just look on top, tap send, it will automatically switch to the message app. So you can send that message reply to anybody on your contacts. So now, if you ever find yourself in a quiet environment, a quiet room with a bunch of people, like a movie theater or something like that, you can quickly reply without verbally having to use dictation or spend a lot of time with scribbles and all that stuff. Now there's actually is this cool keyboard that you can also use and it's free to download. But sadly, it only works on iMessage, so it doesn't. there's no support for like Messenger or other third-party apps, unfortunately. Maybe in the near future, who knows? Now, this bot is a Discord client app that allows you to actually view your messages, chat with people, server rooms, you know. If you're somebody who's on Discord and you want to stay up to date of all these different chat rooms, definitely do check out this app. What I like about this app, this actually takes advantage of WatchOS 6 as you could actually put the password in by using the keyboard on your iPhone. So if you do have a complex password, which hopefully you do, this is how you enter it, so you don't have to. You're not stuck with that small screen. But here you can see all your rooms. Uh, you could reply to messages here, and uh, basically it's everything you wanted from Discord. But you can also see it here on your Apple Watch. Now, if you enjoy mountain biking, hiking, or just logging driving commutes, check out Wikilog. Now, originally, I gotta admit, this wasn't originally gonna be a part of my list, but after looking at the app, the layout, and what it's capable of doing, I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate the stuff that this application will allow you to do. By launching the Apple Watch app, here you could just hit start and actually start recording your hike. If you go underneath, you can also change the activity as well, and there's a lot of different activities to choose from, even car, like I was telling you, if you just wanna log in like gas reports or something like that. Here you can also see we have ATV, snowboarding, horseback riding, and it just goes on and on and on. I'm actually really surprised that all this is a part of the list. And when you launch the actual application on your iPhone, here you can actually explore previously logged in uh, routes or trails, I should say, that other people in the community has posted. So if you're new to a certain spot, you can actually look on here and then find a certain hike that you want to take a part of and try for yourself. And it tells you the feet, the altitude, and the time it takes to also complete. Again, I was really surprised how active this application is with its community. So if you love hiking the outdoors, check out this application. And yes, this is where you can also review your previous trails as well. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, you can also download offline maps too. So in case you do lose reception on the map, it will actually save the offline version. Now if you're looking for a sleep tracking app, Napbot got recently added on the App Store and after messing around with this application, checking it out, it, it looks like it's a simple, basic, but will work sleep tracker. Now this app is free to download and the only paywall is the trends, just like the activity trends that Apple innovated, this one has that too. but. It is a monthly subscription or annually subscription. There's two different plans. There's one you could pay a dollar a month, which is not that much, but obviously the best value you see here is $10 a month if this is something you really need. But other than that, again, it's a really basic app. You don't have to do anything for it to auto track. 
as soon as you go sleep, the Apple Watch sensors will automatically know that you're sleeping. So you don't have to remember to do anything. And when you launch the actual application, actually it'll give you a little grid right here. So you can view all that on your wrist as well. So you don't have to always go on your iPhone. But that's basically everything there is to know about NapBot. Now, if you have a habit of accidentally, let's say for you forgot your anniversary, your kid's birthday, or other important life events, uh, download this application. It's called the Day Before D-Day Countdown. Now, it doesn't have to be used for like a love event, birthday. It could also be used as for an exam, a diet, a no smoking spree as they have, or you can also make this into a custom one. And whenever you create one, just enter the date. So let's say the exam date is on March the 8th. Uh, hit done. It, there's gonna be an ad, unfortunately. They have to make money somewhere. I think there's a paid version though. You could remove this if you want. Now after creating that, if we launch the actual Apple Watch app, here we see we have D28 more days until that exam. And yes, you can also use this as a watch face complication. So you can always see the days remaining until that event. And I just checked, there's no ads on the Apple Watch app, but on the iPhone is $3 if you want to remove them. But other than that, this app is really nice. The layout's clean, so it's definitely on my recommendation list. Now, Sherp is the next app, and this is a new Twitter client that not only allows you to view your Twitter feed, but will also load up Twitter videos as well right here with sound you can view photos as well as well as use the digital crown to zoom in retweet and like and on the Apple watch you could view trending mentions message and etc there is a pro version that's available but most of the good features the main features that you need are already included but the developers of this app are really shill because they actually will give you three options to choose from if you want the pro version. So you can pay either $2.99, $3.99, or $5.99. It's your choice. Once you buy one, you, you unlock the pro version. So I, I thought that was really cool to mention. Now, this app is called Virtual Scoreboard. It's also free to download. And what I like about this one is basically that's what it is. It's a virtual scoreboard that you can actually tally and keep track of all that on your wrist. So when you launch the app, the layout looks like this. It's going to ask you what activity you're doing, like baseball, soccer, football, hockey, you know, card games. And based on activity, it's going to ask you how many sets. So three sets for this. And as you notice, if we tap on the greens, it will actually tally the points depending on the sport. So this is cool. So on top right here in the middle, uh, you see the sets, the games. If you 3D press, you could clear, edit, or go back and select a different activity. So if you're playing street hockey or something like that, and nobody is around to keep track of the score, this is a great alternative. Now this application is called Smoke, and no, it doesn't have to do anything related to Smoke. What it is is basically it's a Steam client. So if you play a lot of PC games and you use Steam a lot, this app will actually allow you to actually check your friends list who see who's online, uh, see what game is popular, the news and all that stuff right here on your wrist. But that's basically the quick rundown to this app. There's really nothing more to this. Uh, but if you play a lot of Steam games, you want to keep track of this type of information on your wrist, this is a good app to get. Now let's go ahead and end this one with a fun one. And our final app is another gaming one, just like how we started. This one is called Real Boxing Arm Fight. Now this is a really interesting Apple Watch game because this one actually utilizes not just your Apple Watch, but you also need your phone as both things are communicating together. Uh, now this was kind of difficult for me to re uh, record, but how it works, basically you launch both apps on both devices and then you move your character by moving your wrist like the images is shown. And to punch, you actually have to extend your arm to punch. Now, that's basically the entire concept of this game. I really wish it was a practice mode because I need a lot of practice on this because I just started playing this. But, I mean, this was really unique and something I just had to share with you guys. So, if you also want to go ahead and try out this weird quirky game, give it a shot. It's free to download, which makes this awesome. And there we have it. That was the list of this month. New apps for the Apple Watch that everybody should at least go ahead and check out. 
at least just try it out and see if you like it. You might. If you have some suggestions for the next video, feel free to comment that down below. If there's a newly discovered app that you discovered, I'll credit you in the next video. And if you want to see more, check out the playlist right here in case you missed those other previous videos. But if you want to check out the last month video, that's going to be right here. And you go ahead and watch that. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.